Hello, I am Shiro, and in this video, I'll be showing you how I add 3D backgrounds to my 2D animations and how to match the frame rate of both. So for this, I have the scene. It's a character firing a Kamehameha, and then the camera turns and follows it. And I want this scene to have a 3D background. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll disable all the backgrounds, hide it, make sure that the background is transparent, and then I will export this as an image sequence. Then, once you've exported it as an image sequence, uh, we can now go to Blender. And this is the scene that I will be putting in the background. Uh, this has no camera yet, so let's add one. We go to Add, Camera. And the camera orientation here is kind of off. So uh, let's fix it. Go to Object Properties. It's this uh, square, orange square icon. And for rotation X, I'll put 90. Rotation Y is 0. Rotation Z is also 90. Okay, now that we have our camera ready, let's add another object. Go to Add, Mesh, and Plane. Now, in this plane, this is where we will project our image sequence. So, let's go to Shading. I'll turn on Rendered View. And click New. To add a new material then let's go to add texture image texture and then connect the color to the base color connect the alpha to the alpha and then click open go to the folder where you saved all your image sequences and select all the images and then click open now blender will automatically detect detect it as an image sequence as long as you numbered them correctly and then they will automatically set everything up for you and then once you've imported your image sequences make sure that you check auto refresh because if you don't check this one um, your image sequence will not be animated it will only display one frame so make sure that you check auto refresh after you imported all your image sequences and then as you can notice uh, our plane has a black background instead of being transparent. So to remove it, let's go all the way to the right to the materials, material properties. It's this uh, circle icon, second from the bottom. Let's go to blend mode and change it from opaque to alpha clip. And we'll do the same thing with shadow mode. Now in shadow mode, if we leave it as opaque, uh, the shadow that it will cast is the shadow of the entire plane. But if we change it to alpha clip, then the shadow that it casts would be the shadow of just the image instead of the whole thing. So we're done with this. Let's go back to the view to the viewport. Scrub through the timeline, make sure it's animated, and yes, it is. Now that we have this animated, all we need to do is align this to our camera. So first thing we do is Change the orientation, similar to our camera. Rotation X would be 90 degrees. Rotation Y is 0. Rotation Z would be 90. And then, uh, as you can notice as well, uh, it's a square. We need the resolution to be, uh, I mean, we need the aspect ratio to be 16 by 9. So to do that, let's go to scale. Change it. Change this to 1.6. Change scale Y to 0.9. To make this easier, uh, we can go to the top left corner of the screen. Uh, just below this uh, blender icon, uh, make sure that your mouse pointer turns into a crosshair. And then click and drag to open a new window. Turn on rendered view. And then Click on View, Cameras, Active Camera. This gives you a first-person view of your camera. And then all that's left is to align our plane. And a little more. There. Now let's attach it to our camera. 
make sure that the plane is selected. Then select your camera last. Then right click, parent, and click object. Now, the plane is attached to our camera. All that's left is to animate it. So let's do so. I'm going to put it here. Make sure those hills in the background are in the shot. And there. Scrub through the timeline. And the scene moves from frame 21. So I'll start this from frame 90. Add a keyframe there. Frame 36. Rotate our camera. Then add another keyframe. Okay. Then once you're satisfied with your scene, and you already want to render it, uh, make sure to remove the textured plane first. You can do that by going to the inspector. It's all the way here at the top right corner. Collapse the camera, select your plane. Uh, if you click this eye icon, it will hide it from the viewport. And if you click this camera icon, it will hide it from the render. So even if it's visible in the viewport, but if the render icon is disabled, it will not appear in your renders. So disable those. Then let's go to the output properties. It's this one, third from the top. Go all the way down to output and click this folder to, to select your desired save location. After you've done that, go to file format. And for this one, I will, I will keep it as a JPEG. I will not export this as an AVI or any video format I'll keep it as a JPEG because I want it I want to export this as an image sequence as well so once that's done go to render and render animation then when you have all your uh, image sequences for the 2d animation and for the 3d background we can now then go to our video editor for this one I'll be using DaVinci Resolve uh, this is a free video editing tool uh, it has a premium version, but the free version itself already uh, offers a lot. So I'll be using this. And then uh, to import our image sequences, I'll just drag and drop the folders into DaVinci Resolve. So first would be the 3D background. Then the 2D animation. Okay, so, so far it looks good. Well, it does look good. But if you look closely, you will notice that the 3D background slides in some frames. And the reason for that is because our 2D animation is animated in twos or in doubles, while our 3D background is animated in singles. So let's go back to Clip Studio real quick. Uh, I'll, I'll show you this one. So as you can see from frame 19 or rather from frame 17 all the way to frame 36, uh, our 2D animation is animated in doubles, meaning that every drawing is exposed for two frames. The drawings in frame 17 is the same drawing in frame 18. The drawings in frame 19 would be the same in frame 20. So there are two ways to match the frame rates of this ones. Uh, the first one is to just simply animate your 2D scene in singles. And that would mean that you would have to draw in every frame. And that would be a laborious work, especially if you're working on a longer scene. And the second one, the alternate uh, fix for this would be to simply adjust the, the frame rate of your background and animate it in doubles and to do that as since uh, animating in doubles requires you to draw in unnumbered frames i uh, will do the same with the background that that is why we exported it as a as an image sequence earlier so we can do this so all we need to do 
Let's go to the folder where we saved the background. And then, we select all the even numbered frames. So, uh, the camera moves from frame 19. So, frame 20, frame 22, we select all the even numbered frames. 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, and 36. And then, we delete them. And then, we duplicate frame 19 to frame 35. Just copy and paste it. And then, we rename them. So, frame 19 copy would be frame 20. Frame 21 copy would be frame 22. Frame 23 copy would be frame 24. Frame 25 copy would be frame 26. 27 copy is 28. 29 copy would be 30. 31 copy would be 32. 33 copy would be 34. And 35 copy would be 36. Now that's done. Uh, we can now go back to our uh, video editor, DaVinci Resolve. And in DaVinci Resolve, you don't really have to like um, open the file again or re-import the files. As long as, it's, as long as the files are in the same location, uh, it will link itself. So, as you can see here, uh, the frame rates are now matched. No more sliding backgrounds. Still looks good. And that's how I add really backgrounds to my 2D animations. And if you picked up anything helpful in this video, <laughs> uh, and, if, and if you feel generous, you can drop a like. And that's it. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.